everybody, Jake here. So today uh, we're out getting ready here to cut some corn. So anyways, well, uh, we got probably roughly 200 acres of corn done. Uh, we got this field done, which was the first of our stuff that got planted. And then that field was planted a week or so later. So we're not gonna touch that right now because that was running that's probably going to be running in the 20s so this stuff was averaged about 17 to 18 so it's going to wait for this to fuel up and then i'm going to go over and uh grab the 245 and the landall weatherproofer and we are headed over to we just knocked out one farm or it's actually getting finished up right now but we just we're doing it once that's done we're going over to another farm we're going to knock that out quick and this is all bean ground right now, so I just gotta go get it switched over and um, then we're switching fields too, or switching farms, so uh, with the combining. And uh, we'll be back to finish this field up and then there's another field behind those woods over there, so uh, we'll be back eventually. So anyways, well, I'm gonna get this field up and we'll talk to you guys. Alrighty, so I'm in the 215. Dad's in the combine. Got a really long line behind us. Behind us of cars. It's kind of a narrow road. One thing I don't like about following behind the combine is because it's so slow. Oh, and then plus we're running through town right now, so yeah, it's gonna be fun. be able to zoom it in at all but uh, we got the 245 and the land all weatherproofer out in that field way over there along the fence line or on the other side of the fence line tilling up some old bean ground so alrighty so it's the next day uh, we're just finishing up we're gonna try to finish up this farm today uh, we have roughly 40 acres left here so it's this field we were in uh we're in a 80 acre field right now but we have about a little bit to go yet and then we got a strip up there to do yet so and then uh we're gonna get back to our our stuff and it's supposed to rain tomorrow and then the next day and they're talking like a rain snow mix Alrighty, so we're out combining here. It's supposed to rain around three, three, four o'clock. So we're gonna have some, uh, somewhat of a short day, but we're opening up this 45 acre field right now. Um, actually it is opened up on the one side here and the other side of the contour. So um, 
Yeah, but I just got one truck filled up. There's a little bit in the drain cart, and I got this other semi here, so we're just gonna keep plugging away. I do not have a drain cart driver for the moment. I think he's coming at two, so. just perfect the green car driver got here and we're just just got full so <laughs> that works out good I just have to sit here and wait for a little bit but no big deal so I'm not exactly sure but from what I the lines are short at the co-op but the other day uh, we were taking some loads into the co-op and the lines were just huge so Let's hope we can get at least two more trucks in before it rains. It's supposed to rain here in about an hour. So they're talking like here in the next 10 minutes about a 35% chance. But here in the next hour it's like a 60 to 70% chance. So. Alrighty guys, so we're filled up and we're done, it's raining. So anyways, well, we'll talk when it doesn't rain again. Alrighty, so it's a couple days later. Uh we got rained out. So we just got back started here today and uh switched from the last field we were in because the corn was too wet, so uh switched into some drier stuff and we were hopefully going to knock out most of this farm today uh, and uh, then finish it up after it rains for the next two days and but next week looks you know very dry so it looks I think it was like seven days pure sunshine so that'll be a great change because the last week was a very gloomy and crappy week so uh, it's really nice to see the sunshine. So right now we're trying to uh, measure out to see if our new jet trailer can fit a thousand bushels and we're trying to get a thousand bushels right out on the monitor so and I think right now we have around 900 bushels so hopefully it fits all in the drain cart so obviously it isn't all the thousand bushels in this drain cart because this thing can only fit 620 bushels but we got a little not a full full load of a drain cart in the semi but we have uh, two combine dumps in the semi alrighty so according to the yield monitor that semi holds more than a thousand bushels at jet trailer. So that means that it would hold about 1100 bushel and the Drake trailer would hold about 1200 bushel because I loaded the the Drake trailer with two full loads of the drain card, I had a hundred bushel left, roughly, in there from when I loaded the jet trailer. So, anyways, well, I'm gonna be combining here for a while. Dad's taking a load in, and I'm going to 
should unload probably. So I'm sitting here waiting for the truck. It's 6.30. Uh, the mill closes at 7, so I'm gonna load trucks and call it quits for the night. And nothing else you can do. You can't load this combine or the drain cart because it's gonna rain tomorrow, so you don't want you know corn getting wet and it all sticks to sides of the drain cart are all clumps up and you have to go in there and push it out with a broom or something but i'm hoping to get one more truck filled get it in and we have a full truck right now and we're waiting on the semi he takes the one that's sitting up there right now we fill one more up get that one out and get that unloaded i filled this up all the way this morning we've been we've been well going at it today we got probably we got 26 acres done on this field and then I think we had another five that we did so we got roughly 30 acres done a little over so oops somebody's back I think yep I don't see how full that pin is I don't know if you can see that but I was about a quarter way down that other pass and these passes about a half a mile long and I was down quarter uh, these are a little more than half a mile long these are some pretty long passes but I was down about quarter way down there and I heard the second beeper and pretty much the second beeper in corn is to stop like right away and I just kept on going so ah So one thing about these long fields is it takes forever for the grain cart to get back. The only way to fix that is to have two grain carts. But then, you know, a bigger grain cart, you know, you'd be able to keep going for longer, but you're eventually gonna fill it up. And especially with how long the lines are right now at the mill, we would have had those that grain cart, if we had like a 875 or a, you know, like a 1085 or something like that, uh, we'd be filling them up and we'd still be sitting because we'd be loading you know loading that up and they'd be still sitting up there waiting for the semi so um, I don't know we might only get one semi in tonight yet and then we'll uh, you know call our quits so but I wish we could get more done because the rain is supposed to come these next two days and then it'll take two or two days to dry it out depending maybe a day or two days to dry it out depending on how much rain we get they're talking rain tomorrow all day especially a steady downpour in the morning and then showers the rest of the day and then Sunday they're talking thunderstorms all day long so and they've been holding to that. Usually they don't hold to that. Usually it gets knocked down to like a 60% chance. So 